Welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at PowerNap. PowerNap is aiming to give you the ability to have something similar to stamina mode on Xperia devices on all Android devices running 4.1 or higher, as long as you have Expose and of course as long as you have Root installed on your system. So let's go ahead and check out this module and see how this is going to help us get much better battery life. This is TK. Let's check it out. <music> I've already downloaded and installed the actual module itself, but to show you guys how to get it, you do definitely have to go directly into the XDA thread. Follow the link in the description here where it says installation instruction. You do have to join the Google Plus community, get accepted, and become a tester. Once those two things are met, you'll be able to download the actual module straight directly from the actual uh, Play Store. It's not actually available directly via the repository currently because it's in alpha mode. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure that you guys are aware of when you install it, you definitely need to be able to check the box. With just to check the box and restart the device as any other module and you'll be able to interface with it directly from the app drawer or from the expose installer the last thing i want to mention here there's two modes pretty much just two modes when you first turn it on you do need to turn them on for them to work uh, by default they come turned off um, endurance mode is the one that we're going to be focusing on this is the one that when you turn off your screen uh, will stop all wake clocks or anything that's trying to basically keep usage or keep your device up um, and it allows you to go into a deep sleep in much longer periods so that you can have much better battery life uh, by turning it on you can go in there and there's a couple of things we need to make sure that we're aware of here activation mode right now is always on you can set it to be activated at a certain percentage of your battery so it's something that you want to basically say like okay i want it to be available during these times i want it to be available when i'm charging um, if you change it from the infinity which is all the way to the right you'll notice the the icon itself just changes itself the percentage battery then that changes the trigger so if i just say put it over here and say okay it's no longer always on it's only available when 40 percent battery is hit i want to keep it as always on uh, we'll go ahead and just move it up and it's hard to do it with camera and we'll just let it stay at 100 percent so now it's always on uh, this is the list of applications that i chose to keep as whitelisted and this is where you would go in you'd go to the plus sign allow it to search and then you can go in and have some things whitelisted if you do not whitelist certain things they may not work when it's in deep sleep by default there's a certain things that are already turned on like calendar events by by default they're grayed out but they're selected they're not in that other list that we saw before because these are the systematic ones that the developer put in and checked the box for us. Uh, the other thing here, of course, is clock and uh, the option here so that you can have alarm so it knows what time it is. Uh, the other options that I personally added in here, if we scroll further down, of course, we have the calendar sync as well as the uh, Google context sync. These things will run. Uh, there's a few other ones. So I added Greenify. I wanted to make sure Greenify didn't actually get stopped so that it, uh, it actually provides me with even better uh, deep sleep by Greenify in certain applications. Uh, the last thing here, of course, is I had them added Messenger. I added NapTime, which is also another application that you can use. It's not an exposed module, but it helps you have much better uh, those functionalities within Marshmallow. Nine is my email application. I turned that on. Anyways, um, overall, the list itself, once you select it, it will show up here. Of course, I even added Amplify. And then you're able to see some statistics of some of the things that are enabling you to have uh, wake clocks or how many of them are turned on by going to the statistics tab. Low battery mode is exactly what that is. Uh, if you turn it on, once you hit a certain percentage of battery, you can start setting different things. Meaning, let's say if we hit 20%, I want my brightness to go down to about, let's say 35, 40%. I'll say, okay, I'll turn it on. And if I want screen timeout, I want it to turn out, right now I had set to two minutes because I'm doing the video, but I want it to be back down to 15 seconds when it hits 20%, and I'll turn that on as well. And that basically enables it for us to basically function every time we need it. So now that we've set our parameters, I turn it on. If my battery drops to about 20%, some restrictive modes will go in to even help me save battery even more. I um, just want to kind of show you guys real quick. Um, I have better battery stats right now. I am at about 83%. And... Um, We'll do that in a little bit. Uh, you can see here on my device has been in 62% at that time in deep sleep, 15% uh, of it wake up with screen uh, awake with screen off. Um, I was using tethering at that point. So the installation isn't the normal way that we normally go about getting a module installed. You can't look for it in the repository. It's not there right now. The, way, the only way really to get it is you go to the XDA thread, uh, you sign up for the uh, Google Plus community for the PowerNap app Exposed module, and at that point you need to become a tester. And once those two things are met, you'll be able to download the actual module itself straight from the Play Store, and then, of course, any subsequent updates that will come through from the Play Store. 
currently, this is how the developer is choosing to do it. Uh, he's choosing to keep it into a smaller community. If you're interested in checking that out, it's a really good module to have. So one thing you want to make sure, again, make sure you install it. Check the box, restart the device. You do have to turn it on within the Expose installer. So you're still kind of interfacing with it, but you download it from the Play Store. Um, and you make sure you whitelist the applications that you're not getting any notifications from. So if you install it and you're noticing, let's say, your favorite email application isn't working, just whitelist the application and it'll go through. The intention here is to restrict some of the things in the background that you normally have no control over. If you've ever looked at your battery stats, you'll see that there are certain things in there that are running in the background, syncing and doing a whole bunch of things, keeping the device awake, even though the screen is off, uh, but still draining your battery. So. Very nice module. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And please let the developer know what your thoughts are. If you're having any concerns, there is a bug report process directly on the Google Plus community uh, as well as XDA. So like and subscribe as usual. Let me know if any other modules that you'd like to uh, see here. And if you haven't checked out yet, check out the giveaway that we're doing with the Expose Framework Group over on Google Plus. Uh, that's going to end on December 25th. So that's in a few days. That's Christmas, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one.